What is going on guys? Nick here, back with another video. Uh, the market took a, another tumble today. Um, I'm pretty sure that my account hit an all-time low this year of about $25,000 at this point, um, which is down from about $45,000, so I've definitely taken a pretty good haircut uh, during this drop. Um, I, I see a lot of other YouTube channels right now, and they're pretty much just talking about um, how the market had... I guess the economic conditions and how bad everything's gotten with inflation. Um, and don't get me wrong, I completely agree that there are some pretty bad economic conditions um, for businesses right now that is causing pretty substantial impact on their profits. And more than likely, this is going to impact them next year. Um, there's two kind of major thoughts that I have about a lot of the stuff. Uh, the first one is um, I'm starting to see more people start to talk about people starting to cut back and people starting to spend less. Um, and for a lot of people, they would think of that as a bad sign. But the reality is this is the intention of the Federal Reserve raising our interest rates. Um, the whole point is to slow down demand from the economy. And hopefully this will stop the crazy inflation that we've seen over the past year. Um, I mean, there's been a little bit more discussion about even a higher interest rate hike, possibly to get this under control even faster. Um, last month we had 8.6% uh, inflation, which is a, it's a new peak. It's higher than I expected. I expected it to come in, uh, slightly less from last month. Um, so we did see some acceleration. Uh, I don't necessarily know what that's going to look like over the next couple of months, but I still do hold the belief that these couple of months are the peak of inflation, whether that was this month, whether that's next month. I, I don't think that it's really going to get much higher than today um, based on the reaction, based on some of the economic data we saw. Um, I, I forget the name of the index, but there's a there's an index that basically looks at the tightening of the economy and how like risk adverse people are with some of their investments and the financial moves that they make. Um, and it seems like things are really starting to tighten up a lot. Uh, the other problem is gas prices going up a lot. That's going to sneak into a lot of the other prices. Um, and I don't really see an end to the crude oil uh, price surge that we've seen over the past year. So that is certainly a problem that has to be dealt with, and I, I don't necessarily know how that's going to resolve. It could honestly be up for a while. I don't really think that there's anything that can be done other than the oil producers um, starting to increase more um, oil supply. Um, for me, as an investor, the only thing that I care about is the business that I'm buying. Um, what's their profit going to look like next year? What's their profit going to look like five years from now? And what is the current price that I'm paying for the stock? Um, I don't really care that much about economic conditions when I buy. If it, the price is good, I just continue to buy. And all throughout this dip, I've continued to just buy the dip um, just as I was, you know, all the way back to January. Um, and that's certainly not changing with the market falling even more. If anything, I might try to see if I can figure out ways that I can ratchet that up. Um, nobody is going to look at this time that we've experienced over the past couple of years and think, what a terrible time to invest. Um, so while things seem and look scary right now, uh, just remember, again, in hindsight, this is a great time to invest. Um, I, you know, if we were in a situation where things still felt fairly expensive uh, across the board, um, I would be far more skeptical of buying. But I think prices are very good. Apple is down at almost 100, I think it was like 130 a share today, which is insanely cheap um, for Apple. There's great deals out there. Uh, and if you're not buying these deals, uh, maybe we do get a crash and I'm wrong and you get a way better opportunity. Maybe the crash is more of a dud than we expect. I, I'm sure that I would probably be alone on that island um, with that statement, but keep buying and, and don't let people fear monger you out of buying cheap stocks. So thanks for watching.